away. Uh, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, Zane and I are doing a date night tonight. We are at Speer Wine Farm. Speer is doing that light art festival thing that they do that is incredibly beautiful that I haven't seen yet. So we are here to do the things. I'm very, very excited to see the lights. Yay. One, two, three. I'm gonna shoot you with the lights over. I know that I'm well away from being a perfect guy. I can have a bad yep. temper, make a big fuss and cry. And I know that lately it's been hot. We had a bumpy ride. But if you give me one more chance. I make it up for life, so if you want oh. to come back home, I will cook you Sunday breakfast for a club. We're gonna go and skate on frozen lakes, spend the morning baking cakes with the glowing. Some of these installations are really, really, really cool. I've been coming to want to see this sort of installation for a number of years now. So every year they have different artists who kind of display all the, the sort of light work here as a sort of festival that's only open for about, I think it's like two weeks of the year. And this is the first time that I'm able to actually make it and see the things. Every time I've seen the photos, I was like, I need to get there so that I can just like film it because it just looks so spectacularly beautiful. And so I've been wanting to film this for the channel here on YouTube, but also since I started 35 millimeter film photography, it's been a sort of interest for me around how certain film behaves in certain lighting conditions. And so I guess this light festival was an opportunity to play around with some of the, I guess, lighting and the shapes and the colors. So all the photos that we've taken here is on Fuji C200, which is a very sort of entry-level consumer grade film. And I've been meaning to shoot Fuji C200 for a long time. I do like the greens that it produces and I thought this was maybe a good film to sort of maybe shoot here at speed. And so this is the risk with like film photography. Like I'm out here shooting, but I have no idea what these photos are gonna look like and if they're even usable in this video. So like fingers crossed that they actually come out semi-decent. and cry and I know that lately it's been hot we had a bumpy ride but if you give me one more chance I make it I feel like so what was disappointing was there were about one or two installations that weren't functioning properly and I'm not exactly sure why. And I don't know if that's the art is not necessarily taking into consideration some of the environmental conditions. Yeah, and so some of the things weren't working that well and some of them were out of order. But that's okay. Um, the rest of it was really, really incredible. I mean, so this is our date night and what's really nice is that we hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna get some nice photos uh, out of it as well. So Zane can probably post it on their Instagram. Which they probably will. So he's always permanently stealing my photos. <laughs> you know, for somebody who doesn't drink, I have spent an awful lot of time at wine farms lately. I think like over the last two, three weeks, I've been at three different wine farms. Like just a little weird. Okay, it's after eight now and we need to get something to eat. Yeah, we need to get food, ne? So if you want to come through to Speed and catch the Light Art Festival, it is running until the 18th of April this year. So like if you miss it, then you're going to have to wait until April next year. 
to see it, I guess. So head on down to Spear. Cool, if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And if you are not already subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications to stay in the loop for upcoming videos. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Ciao. So if you